everyone it's hopper and well the knee is feeling a lot better it's not 100 percent but it's getting close but uh hey i'm getting back on trail after four days of rest uh getting on back here at the monarch pass um so that's because uh well i gotta stay with my trail family so uh yeah uh, afterburner and i are getting on here along with a bunch of folks we met at the uh the hostel and uh yeah looking forward to uh continuing south Thanks everyone for all the great well wishes. And hey, on that uh, special Olympics fundraiser we're doing, we're up to $451 of the $500 goal. You guys are awesome, thanks. Hey, we're now at mile 261.8 of the Colorado Trail, and this is where the Collegiate West and Collegiate East reunite. And from here, it's all southbound, all one trail. The trail family's getting bigger. 263.5, apparently we've got a little shelter here. It's a lean-to, not the greatest, not much of a floor, but uh, well, it can keep you out of the rain, and uh, eh, it's not too bad. Hey, <laughs> what's up? And there are 10 spots here too. All right, so first day back on trail wasn't too bad. Did about 9.4 miles in about four hours. Uh, the train, of course, was actually pretty friendly, so that helped out. Um, yeah, so we're camped here next to some of our friends we met in town. Uh, we got Smoky Bones and Mongoose. So uh, yeah, uh, knee's doing well and uh, looking forward to continuing southbound. You can't have Colorado hiking without Colorado rain. Hey, good morning. Well, about a mile down the trail, got ourselves a little privy. Great time for a morning constitutional. Hey, good evening. Well, we're in camp here after a 16-mile day. Uh, the knee is holding up. Um, it's not perfect yet, but I'm getting ready to cook. Tonight's dinner is going to be uh, ramen noodle with powdered eggs. Uh, you cook the powdered eggs in the water with the ramen noodle, and it's kind of like poached eggs, but it gives you a lot of protein. And of course, going to add a little bit of tuna packet too. Uh, yeah, um, got to get some energy and get ready for tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to try for a 19-mile day. We'll see how it goes, though. But, uh, yeah, no, today was great. The, the trail is well-groomed for the most part, and, uh, well, yeah. Out here in the Colorado wilderness, nature will provide. Got a little wild strawberry here. Mucking on down. Mmm, sweet and delicious. Okay, we're all hanging out here. This is the extended trail family we've developed. We've got a little water source here. So, uh, hey, you guys want to introduce yourself? I'm Will. The one that doesn't speak. That's tequila. Sounds or tequila. And over there, we got Mongoose and Afterburner trying to get some purified water a little further upstream. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, mile 300 on the Colorado Trail. Hey, good evening. Well, the goal today was to do a 19-mile day. We actually did 20.2. Definitely exceeded our goal. Uh, we were going to actually try to put an extra two, two and a half, maybe three miles in, but uh, I'll start feeling some raindrops and some, some real big uh, thunder overhead. So uh, found some campsites and time to hunker down. Good morning, cows, or as I call you, beef jerky. We've got a little trail magic here with some fresh water available to hikers, which is uh, pretty nice considering a lot of the water sources around here are contaminated with cow patties. All right, cows, you're blocking my trail. What do you say you guys go left and I'll go right? and all will be good. Cow navigation, successful. I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a coyote over there. First time actually seeing one. I've heard him at night, and it's actually quite a nice sound. It's almost like they're singing. Ah, it feels so good to be walking in the Aspens, especially after baking under the Colorado sun for most of the day. At the Cochitope Creek, there's really no way to cross other than to get your feet wet. It wouldn't be a Colorado afternoon if there wasn't a hailstorm.
wow, what a day. I've seen a lot today and my feet have seen a lot of miles. Uh, it was actually 27 and a half miles. Um, my knee is telling me I probably should have quit about three miles earlier, but hey, at least the knee is doing well. Hey, what a beautiful morning it is. Sure, my shoes were still wet from the stream crossings yesterday, but I got a brand new pair of socks. Ah, oh, they feel great. And I kind of strategically camped one mile before, yep, a trailhead with a privy, and that made the morning even better. Oh wow, look at all these strawberries. Nice beaver. Check out that beaver dam. He's got himself quite the little uh, castle. Hey, good evening. Well, today was only a 17.6 mile day. Uh, the terrain today was a lot more ups and downs compared to yesterday, which was pretty flat, which explains the mileage difference. But also, over the next two days, there are two high points on high ridges that we have to cross. And unfortunately, um, you don't want to be there uh, at the end of the afternoon because, well, that's when, A, your legs are tired and you're more likely to make a mistake. And also, that's when the thunderstorm's happening. So, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, I'm setting myself up for the next two days to get up and over those two high points. There's a big moose, and there's a baby moose right there. Hey, good morning. So, uh, okay, so right before sunrise, coming from this beaver pond, I swear there were sounds of a baby crying. It was the creepiest thing, and I am out of here. just had some trail magic and they had beer. <laughs> I am such a lightweight. But southward! Looks like we may have some storms coming up. Feet don't fail me now. Hey, wow, so the, the views today were great. I managed to avoid all the rainstorms that were coming and I met uh, Angel Hair. <laughs> well, actually re-met Angel Hair and her husband Rigatoni is still in the tent. I met these two on the Arizona Trail. And That's true, I vouch. Yeah, so hey, it's great to see. And back in the distance, there's even more, more trail family. So yeah, gotta love the trail. What a beautiful morning to be on trail. Oh, it's gonna be a glorious day. Here we've got the remnants of a mule pack. All I need is a mule to carry my stuff up for me. An amazing view here at 13,031 feet. And this isn't even the high point of the day. These must be Scottish cows because they live up here in the highlands. Not only is this the high point of the day at 13,271 feet, but it's also the highest point on the Colorado Trail. It's all downhill from here, except for the upper parts, of course. One of the other hikers, Crotrot, got an in-reach text message that there was a massive thunderstorm with flash floods and lightning, and it looks like that's right there be behind us. But it looks like we may have actually skirted it, because we're all trying to make a de mad rush for this ridge line. And uh, yeah, pretty confident we missed it. Uh, not confident enough to raise my trekking pole high into the air. <laughs> After all, the goal is to get 500 miles under your feet, not 500,000 volts through your feet. Wow, we just got clobbered by one of the biggest storms I've ever seen. Uh, we tried to make that ridge line earlier, and we did. We made that storm, but Mother Nature said, hey, I'm going to throw a bigger and badder storm at you, and she did. It was uh, real intense. Uh, all this ground was covered in hail. Um, this, this rain jacket was like armor. I mean, if, if that, that hail hit your bare skin, whoo, you were hurting, I tell you. But, uh, but now, it's the calm after the storm. And just look how beautiful that is. It's, it's amazing. But we're going to try to dry, that, dry out a little bit and set up camp here shortly. Hey, good evening. Well, finally set up my campsite here. 
and uh, yeah, yesterday was a 19.5 mile day. Today ended up being a 21.4. Um, most of that was just going as fast as you can to stay warm during that uh, during that severe thunderstorm, though. So that's when you're just you're just moving just to get body heat. But uh, yeah, I'd say about my gear stayed about 80% dry within my pack. So uh, it's not totally dry, but uh, maybe I'll take a break tomorrow when the sun comes out and actually dry it. But for now, I'm just gonna stay warm and get some good sleep. Good night. And a good Colorado morning to everyone. It's already looking like a better day than yesterday. All those little white dots on that hill over there, those are all sheep. Hopefully they're making some good merino wool for us hikers. Trailheads usually mean trail magic and a 9.45 a.m. beer. Mm. Coincidentally, the trail brings us right through the sheep herd. Ba-ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. Good job protecting all these sheep. You're a good dog, good dog, and thanks for not biting us. Hey sheep, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. Looks like we got some more storms over there to the east and hopefully they'll pass us by. But we are going this way, so wish us luck. All right, we have reached the junction where the Continental Divide Trail continues that way and the Colorado Trail continues this way. Downhill, a lot of switchbacks coming up. There's a potential storm coming. Do I continue down the mountain or ride it out in that nice little cave right there? Yep, I decided to press on downward into the valley. Below us is Elk Creek, and check out all this damage caused by an avalanche a few years ago. But, trail maintenance, you guys are awesome. Thanks for help cleaning it up. Time to do some gymnastics though, because it's not totally cleaned up yet. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to mile 400 of the Colorado Trail. We're nearing the home stretch now. When you find the perfect campsite, and then you see a sign that says, restoration, no camping. Oh well, time to keep looking. Okay, so I had to walk a little further, but I found a nice spot. Just felt something crawling around on my chest, and yep, that's a tick. Be careful out there, folks. Well, this wraps up the day. 18.3 miles, and I am all set to do just about four miles in the morning and catch a hitch into Silverton and take a Nero. Hey, good morning. So just down the trail from where I camped, there's a junction where you can go take the train. Yeah, apparently there's this old coal-burning 1800s train that can take you into Silverton. But I'm here to hike, so I'm going to go up Molas Pass and go this way. Ah, Molas Lake. Oh, I just want to get naked and jump in there. But it's a family campground. Well, finally made it to Silverton. Great old-fashioned city and a great place to take a break from the trail. Hey everyone, I'm here in my hotel in Silverton, and yep, that's my laundry over there drying because that's what us hikers do. But before we wrap up this video, I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys who helped us achieve our goal for fundraising of the Special Olympics. Yes, our goal was $500. We got to $501. And yes, I'm going to match. Like I said, dollar for dollar for $500. Now, the trail isn't done yet. There's still like another 75 miles to go. So hey, if you guys want to contri continue to contribute, that's awesome. Goals are great, but let's exceed our goals. So hey, if you want to do that, awesome. And hey, thank you guys very much. And uh, i got one more video coming after this.